Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem El Shaddai by Shem to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this simply The Most High is Against Witchcraft. So that was put up by GMS Hawaii Ba, which is a uh, Kabar Yahawada, the elder and head of uh, GMS Hawaii. So I went to my notifications and it came up. So I saw the title. And um, well, it says uh, witchcraft. His his video is witchcraft and waste beads. So I started watching the video. I didn't even get a chance to watch the whole thing. But I caught this part. Matter of fact, you know what? Okay, this is this is um a Jake eating his head of a snake to get power. And this is uh Okay, there's this backstory with this let me get this uh Okay, this is um the actress from uh was it Living Single I believe with uh uh what's her name? Uh Queen Latifah and this is the witty the witty one. Uh she was also in um she's in a couple of movies. She she got a start on uh the Cosby show. And she she the last movie I saw her in was uh Get Out. She played the police detective and she kinda stole Damn near stole a movie with her portrayal of being a particular police. She she got it down packed like a black woman, the police detective. That's that's all butch, you know, bushy, butchy. You know, kind of. She could have been on the side back the back door. She could have been a lesbo, or whatever. You know, you you don't deal with women like that. That are cops. That that are authority figures. Especially she a cop, she get you. You get into a fight, you go. Your ass is going to jail for a long time. So in this video, I'm not gonna play any of it, but but she's on um, the Breakfast Club. So she's speaking about her grandmother and how she went down south and she was all in the heavy in the witchcraft because Jake is heavy in the witchcraft. But it's secret, you know. You let you see Jake going about their business, but behind closed doors, they in like the Latin tribes. They're into uh, brujeria and santeria, which is the same thing as witchcraft. But santeria is like white white rich witchcraft as opposed to black witchcraft, which is brujeria. And I believe brujaria comes from the word brew because witches have a brew of different herbs and uh, unclean animals and they cast spells. You know, the eye of a newt, the, the tail of a dis, uh, the wing of a bat, you know, with certain herbs and certain uh, plants and they cast spells that way. And that goes back when we were back in the, you know, really that goes back to Abraham's father because he was into that. That's in the book of Joshua. I'm not going to go to it. And the Most High was not dealing with uh, uh, Abraham's father, Terah. He was dealing with Abraham. So he took, he took him from his father and he made that trek, which is called the Fertile Crescent, from Ur the Chaldees up into Haran or Charan, however you want to pronounce it, down into in, into Canaan, Israel, down in Egypt, and that's called a Fertile Crescent. If you look it up, so at a Ur the Chaldees, that's what people say: Suma Ur the Chaldees, Mesopotamia, 
of Mesopotamia. Anyway, uh, their power, they, they worship the gods on the left hand side, which mean they were worshiping demons. So the Most High said, I'm going to separate Abraham because he was, he was making his chosen people. And it was going to start with Abraham. Ab Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. And then from Jacob became the Israelites. You know, actually it was 13 tribes in the beginning. Now it's down to 12. With the, the tribe of Dan missing. Now, the spirits, you might ask, well, where are the spirits of, the, of the Dan today? They have to be mingled among the other tribes. Some could be, they could be mingled all in Judah, or they could be mingled among all the rest of the 12 tribes. So we don't, we don't know. You know, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the Apostle Paul speaks about, we see through a, a glass darkly, a smoke glass, merely paraphrasing what the Apostle Paul said. So in the kingdom, we're going to find out everything. We're going to find out who, you know, like we don't know, we, there's many of us, and you could be talking to a brother, and that brother could be, you know, Obadiah or Jeremiah or Ezekiel. So you don't, so you don't know, you're not going to know, and he doesn't know until we get into the kingdom. Oh, you were Jeremiah, you know, this, that, and the third. But anyway, getting back into this, so watch this video. You know, like I said, it prompted me to to do a video. And I'm going to watch the rest of it. And I subscribe to this channel, as you can see. So she goes in on her grandmother going for deep down south. And she got involved. Let me see if I can find the, the image there. Yeah, like this right here. I'm sorry. Uh, where is it? That's not it. I do it this way. So she would go back and forth to down deep south. South Carolina. Carolina. Okay, so this is this Levi does this. That's why this is why Levi's catching so much hell because they they're the priests. They're supposed to be the priests, the Levites. So they're supposed to be in tune with the right hand side of the Most High, Yahweh. So. Levi has power, spiritual powers, but they get it from the left-hand side. So, and now they say that um, part of the reason why they defeated the French because they got power from the left-hand side. That's what they. That's what they say, and I could believe it too because Levi is heavy into the left-hand side. So this is uh, this is actually. Uh, Santeria, because she's wearing all white, and the, and the Latin tribes got that from them. She's smoking a cigar, they'll spit in the cup, and you know all kind of madness. And you got a lot of these Latin tribe women that are heavy into that, and a lot of Jakes, Benjamin, Levi, the Haitians. So let me let me do this. And this is why, you know, Levi is catching hell. So hey, they, hey, let it he let Levi catch hell. What's the biggest religion, the number one religion in Haiti? Roman Catholicism. I'm trying to find this other picture. Maybe it's back. Bear me for a minute. Hey man, let let Levi catch hell, man. Cause they they when there was an earthquake, they were running to the Roman Catholic Church. 
calling on Jesus. Anybody that calls on the name of Jesus to Christ, that you're a witch. Here the Most High bless you with the true name of him, of the, you know, the Most High Yahweh and um, his beloved son Yahweh Shai, and you calling on Jesus. And you wonder why you fucked up. Hey, bottom line is, I'm trying to find this picture here. Bottom line is this. Anyway, let me come back over here. So she's going to disappear, uh, not her actual grandmother. So just showing an old black woman from down south. The hell? Okay, so she's talking about a grandmother. Grandmother died. She went down south and watched this video. And uh, she was went deep down south, you know, to deal with these witches. That the demons are heavily dealing with these people. And when she came back up, she was all twisted up. And, um... They had prayed over her, and she was all right. And then they said, don't go down there no more. Don't deal with that. We know you why you're going down there with, with all that, you know, witchcraft, left, left-hand left stuff. So she went down there again. They said, if you go down again, you're going you're gonna to come back in a coffin. You're going to come back dead. And sure enough, she came back dead. So she was going into how pretty much her, most of her family's into that. But Levi, boy, you running into any Levite. If you ain't in the witchcraft, your your aunt, your auntie is. You Latin tribes. If you ain't into it, your 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 teet, your teet, teet, teet. Teet is your auntie. Like if you go to certain areas where the Latin tribes live and where Jake live, you have these place is called botantica botanticas which is actually a hebrew word which means plants but you see all these different statues and candles and stuff and they go there that's that's a store for for witches to go into so don't tell me that israelites is not heavy in the witchcraft that's why they want to become israelites because they're getting their power they're getting their blessings on the left hand side So, you know, the scriptures is against it. And, you know, when we go out there and we tell these people, if they can't get it, if they can't get it, you leave them, leave them be. Apostle Paul said that. It, speaks, um, it says in 1 Corinthians 14, it, said, it speaks about them, if you, in not so many words, if they're ignorant, then leave them, leave them like, that way. Let them be ignorant. The Apostle Paul said, "You don't, you don't bend over backwards to try to wake these, these demons up. We're, bottom line, we're only looking for the elect. Well, the Most High is looking for the elect. So the Most High uses us to say the word, and the Most High, if that person that hears his word takes heed to it, then the Most High opens up their pineal gland, the third eye." And uh, the spirit starts working with him. So, you know, watch this here. But anyway, I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures. Um, I normally, let me show you something here. There's another tool that I use. It's like a cheat code. Where is it? Okay, this is it right here. This page is openbible.info. And if you put, it says, what does the Bible say about, and you just put whatever, which, I put witchcraft. It says witchcraft spells. And it gave me a whole, I put in UFOs. I did a video and I put in UFOs. And all, they gave me a ton of scriptures and they're all scriptures that we use. So I don't know if they watched us. And, they, and, they, and this, and this uh, site right here, 
they know that the that the UFOs are are angels. So anyway, so I pulled this up, witchcraft and spells, and all these scriptures, like it says here, this is ESV, I think that's the English Standard Version, you shall not permit a, sorcer a sorceress to live, and the King James says, suffer not a witch to live, so the law says you put them to, put them to death, in this country, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, the uh, the mistress of witchcraft in Nahum three. The power. This their power comes from the left hand side, come from the spiritual demons, Satan and the demons. And this is why. So this place is like a wit. The woman in red, the 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 whore that sitteth upon many waters, a red, the woman in red that sitteth upon the scarlet colored beast which was filled, uh, featured at the Super Bowl with this guy the, the halftime show with uh, you know Usher he had all white he, he is straight up demon man and Alicia Keys was on the, uh, on the piano and the piano was built like a dragon a red dragon look at the pic I did videos on it you can see that it, you, you can see red and you can see little highlights of purple and I believe she was wearing red. So you you do enough research. You go to YouTube. You put in uh, you put in Super Bowl halftime show demonic witch ritual or whatever, and a whole bunch of videos should pop up. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me see what comes up. I'm a little all over the place, but that's all right too. Cause I didn't know what I was gonna speak on. I'm just going going with the spirit. You looking for a topic? You go to go to the open Bible. That site that I just showed you. Let me do this. Super Bowl halftime show demonic ritual. Bear with me for a minute. Okay, let me do it. Let me do it this way. I put in Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Did I spell that right? Okay. B boom. Sold their souls to the devil. Where's secret satanic messages shown during Super Bowl 58 it's shown on any all of the Super Bowls this this was uh, two months ago that was put up what the F Katy Perry Super Bowl and she was she's supposed to be a Christian she's a straight up witch Katy Perry Super Bowl halftime show Illuminati rumors satanic symbols.
Look at this damn demon. Look at this. What hand size did uh, Prince Harry make during a photo with uh, Mel Melania uh, Trump? Yeah, they're all insiders, man. This is Sam Smith, the fat demon. But the nigga can sing, though. He, he a Jake, he Irish, but he, he straight up Jake. This was, uh, what was this, two years ago? Was it the Grammys? Seen and unseen, the Grammys, satanic tribute. Katy Perry, once again, she's a witch. She became a Christian. And, and you Christians, man, hey, let's look at this guy. Let's look at this guy. Uh, um, what's his name? Um, Ryan Garcia. Jesus, Jesus. He'll say the name of Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Then he'll tell somebody to suck his suck his thing. He's you know drinking beer. You know, cursing, doing everything that's against so-called Christianity. No Christians say anything about it. Then he went into the the rituals, how he sacrificed little kids, sex tra trafficking, and then come to find out he he had a uh, you know um, PEDs in his system, performing enhancing drugs in his system. Cause I said he was he was gonna lose, he was gonna get his ass whipped, and he didn't. So I was surprised. Then the truth came out. So now they gotta they gotta make that a no contest. Anyway, let me get back into this. So let me see here. Oh, I'm sorry. So I put in the word typed in witchcraft, right? Uh, 1 Samuel 15, verse 23, for rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft and stubbornness. So what do you do with somebody that is a part of witchcraft? You put him to death. And what, what does rebellion mean when you when you go to war against the truth? Like we've been, the Spirit's been on this heavy to go against the IUIC. And as we look at different videos, you can see that these guys are demons, man. They'll tell it. The, the thing now is you got to take off. When you're in front of them, you got to take off your hat. And they'll they'll sit there for 15 minutes, you know, trying to browbeat you about taking off your hat until you take. It's a power trip with these guys. Meanwhile, you got guys with long, long hair, dreads. You got guys with dreads, and you got the the high top fade, but they shaved the sides of it. What? Watch their videos. Don't go. Don't don't take my word for it. Watch their videos. So so basically, Bishop Nathaniel is a is a witch. He's a warlock. Because we didn't we didn't did videos showing him that he's going off on this. He's going off on that, and he watches all our video. He said that. He said he told me when Ricard well he told Ricard when 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 Ricard ran into him back in two thousand and nine two thousand and ten. And he talked to me, and I didn't want to talk to him. I said a couple of words, and I said, "Look, man, give me, put the phone, give the phone back. I don't want to talk to you." I straight up told him, "I don't, want to, I, don't I ain't got nothing to say to you, bro." Because he said, "One of that." He said, "Look, we're gonna have to have a meeting." I said, "I don't want to have no fucking meeting with you." We ain't having no goddamn meeting with you. If you wanted to elect, and you get with us, you're gonna you're gonna be a buck private, and it's, you're gonna be standing back there holding posts and reading. Because we done told everything. When you came out with, with that whole hell doctrine, wh who jumped on it? Did Sakari jump on it? Did HODC jump on it? Did any of them groups jump on it? Who who jumped on the thing? When As soon as I realized that you teaching the hell doctrine, who jumped on that and said that you were going off? M myself. You're going to burn in hell. Roman Catholic doctrine, man. You are, you are in the closet Roman Catholic, man. 
And, and then and then this guy Comfy was teaching the same goddamn thing. He was teaching that there's an actual hell. And he got that from Yeshaya. And Yeshaya's a goddamn demon too. The former high priest Yeshaya. He used to always every every two, three years, he used to always try to push push that hell doctrine and he would get and he would be brought he'd get brought to council and checked on it. What they should have did was tell Yeshaya to get, you know, get to stepping. It says, for rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and a, idolatry. And he's being, this guy's, I'm just talking about Bishop Nate, I can be talking about anybody. He's, he's stubborn. You know what Proverbs uh, 29 and 2, uh, 1 says, right? Because he, he's a hard, he's a stiff neck. We told him that the new moon is, is not no damn full moon. We told him that Friday, sundown to Saturday, sundown is not necessarily the Sabbath. What else? Oh, the MOTB is a micro C chip, a C hip. He's saying that it's, it's, it's sin in all of its forms. And you, and you can't tell me, oh, well, if the Most High came to me and showed me different, the Most High is coming to you through us. The Most, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is speaking to us. It said, because. Thou has rejected the word of Yahweh. What does that mean, Thou has rejected the word of Yahweh? It's talking about the whole book. Not one jot or one titter, and no wise shall be uh, so in so many words taken from the law, which is the whole book. You cannot add or you cannot take away or add to this book. Hell is 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 adding to the book. He hath also rejected thee from being king. And this King Saul, the Most High put a demon on him. He took that righteous spirit off him and put a and put a spirit, a demonic spirit on him. And what and what it soothed, what cooled him down was uh the music and songs that David would play. And the demon would come up off off of him, man. See you you Jakes out there that are wild as hell, you listen to this. This, uh, you know, this, uh, this, the music that you do. That's there's demons and there's demons in that music. There's spirits in that music, man. There's certain music, like I said, read about uh, King Saul having a demon on him, and how David played the string instrument and the demon went off of him. But but as soon as he stopped, the demon jumped back on him. When you come, when you leave, when you come into this truth. A demon is taken from you. When you turn your back on the truth, that same demon, it jumps on you with seven other demons more powerful than than the initial demon. That's why these guys bug out. You see these guys that fell off, they're all bugging out. Because you got eight demons on you. Fortified demons. <laughs> That's a topic right there fortified demons and there's nothing you can do to get back in once you once the most high close that door on you man you ain't coming back hey lahab he's teaching that edomites can make it the other nations can make it so he's got demons on him that's why we used to call him myself apostle uh gabar and apostle recall we used to call him the behind his back we used to call him the black demon we were saying, hey, shalom, Hawk. And then behind his back, he said, there goes, I just got finished talking to the black demon. And they say that he was Saul. And back in the day, he used to always wear white. Then all of a sudden, he started wearing all black. And that's when he changed up. So it says, uh, it says a second, uh, Second Chronicles 33 verse 6. Now this is about King uh, Manasseh. How when he became king, his father, give me a second. Manasseh succeeds. Is 
uh, Hezekiah in Judah. So Manasseh was a king of Judah that took his father's uh, place. That's also in uh, 2 Kings 21. Yeah, when he came into rulership, he was 12 years old. So he just became a man. So you can read from the top, but I'm going right to the point. Okay, it says, And he built altars for all the hosts of heaven and the two courts of the house of the Lord. Also he built altars in the house of the Lord, therefore the Lord had said in Jerusalem, shall my name be forever. For he built again the high places which Ezekiel, his father, had broken down because his father was righteous and he was wicked. He said, no, nah, I don't want this Mosai stuff. I want, I, want these, I want to deal with the left-hand side. But then he did repent. And that's the, the prayer of Manasseh is in, um, in the, uh, the Apocrypha. It says, and he caused his, his children to pass through the fire. Now, back then, they followed those gods. One of the gods was Molech. And um, to appease Molech, which was a demon, you would have to take children and you have to put them, burn them. And now you got these nigger women that they put their, ch their children in the fucking microwaves, they put them in the ovens. That's that old demon from the past making them do that. They do that because the demon tells them to do that. Because the God, the demonic uh, entity, Molech, wants to be appeased. He said, I need children to be sacrificed. That's how I get off on children getting sacrificed. And Esau does this, man. They still do that. The milk cartons. Did you see this little boy? He's been missing for such a... He's dead. He's sacrificed. So this... So you got these Edomites that are pushing this, you know, the American way and, you know, putting... They don't realize, man. And I pray to you, how about Shem Shai? And I, if I could, I would actually vote. I would vote for Trump to be president. Because he'll push that war. And I believe if he does become president, he'll be the president to, to welcome in the war of Armageddon. But we'll see. We'll see. Because you can see that the, the whole world sees that this place is done. The whole world sees. I did a video. It's on the news. It's not in American news. But the in the Niger, Africa... You had a, a Air Force base, a U.S. Air Force base, but the, the people of Niger, Africa, the government is dealing with Russia. So the Russian military came in and said, look, man, pack up your shit and get the fuck out of here. That right there is an act of war. But they can't just go to war with Russia because they know, as, as uh, Biden said, oh, no, because that would be World War III. And he knows what happens, what will, what will happen when World War III comes. Total, total annihilation. It says, and he causes his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Now for you idiots out there, you dimwits that teach about hell, and you might go to a scripture, you, you go to the lake of fire. The lake of fire is talking about Babylon uh, after the missiles hit it and the lasers hit it. It's not talking about no eternal hell. Now, it also says in the scriptures, it says hell fire. Like if you, go to the, if you go to the New Testament and you put in hell fire, it's going to say, uh, what, is it, what is it going to say? It's going to say uh, in the Greek, it's going to say per, matter of fact, let me go to it. Let me just go to it. Hell fire. I think it's, Per uh, uh, Gehenna, let me, let me let me pray me for a minute. Okay, hellfire, danger of hellfire. Let 
the word there is Gehenna, hellfire. It says, let me let you hear it. Strong's G, 4442. Poor. 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 That's where you get the word pyro, which goes back to the Latin, which goes back to the Greek. It means fire. And hell means Gehenna. And then the Christians will say, well, Gehenna, that's, that's, that's hell fire that you, your spirit burns in. No, it's not. This is for you brothers that are new. You veterans already know this. Gehenna. It says hell is the place of the future punishment called Gehenna or Gehenna fire. This, uh, this was originally the valley of Hinnom. So Gehenna. Gehenna. In the Greek. The Hebrew word is Hidnom, south of Jerusalem, where the filth and dead animals of the city were cast out and burned, a fit symbol of the wicked and their future destruction. Right, because they are going to go to Gehenna, meaning Babylon, the lake of fire. Your, your spirit's not going to burn in the lake of fire. So we're going back into the subject of, of hell, hellfire. There's a new one that these guys, okay, let me see, hellfire, I don't want that. Okay, let me come back over here. So what they did back there in the valley of Hinnom, they used to take their children and they cast them into the fire while they were alive. Also, he observed times and used enchantments, witchcraft, and used witchcraft and dealt with a, dealt with a familiar spirit. He had, and witchcraft, they have a thing called a spirit guide, which is a demon that guides you. There's a movie coming out called Terra Card. Cause they glorify that shit. Uh, uh, what's this uh, series of movies? Damn, I can't even think. With the with the Edomite kid from England. I can't. I can't even remember the, the movie. That was glorifying. Um, somebody help me out. That was glorifying uh, witchcraft. The Super Bowl. The the uh, the um the halftime um. Show is nothing but a, 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 a you know, a, a demonic ritual praising the left hand side powers. It said, and with wizard, he he wrought much evil in the sight of Yahweh to provoke him to anger. This is why today Jake is catching hell. You can't really get mad at Esau. Esau is doing what the Most High put the spirit on him to do to fuck y'all up and to keep fucking y'all up. You know, we claim that a lot of people are waking up. There's millions, hundreds of millions of Jakes, billions of Jakes out there that ain't waking up. So the Most High gonna close the show on the asses and then burn them up. The Most High is only dealing with the elect. And Solomon did the same thing. He was on them gods on the left hand side. Now this is what I want to go into. Bear me for a minute. This is a new, another one that they pull out, another precept that the IUIC pull out, pulls out, that they go off on. Let me see, worms. And like I said, this is really back to the basics, because you veterans in this thing, you know, you know all these scriptures. Let me 
modify it. Go to the Apocrypha. Okay, boom. It's there. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. For you dummies that are take the scripture in um, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 24, and it says when it speaks about where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched, and then you say, that's talking about an eternal hell. The only things that are going to be alive in hell um, are the worms. They're going to be eating your flesh. So here's a cut. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 11. For when a man is dead, he shall inherit creeping things, beasts, and worms. The place where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched is talking about Babylon the Great on fire. And the worm dieth not meaning dead. Because the worms are going to die in America too. Okay, Ecclesiastes 7 verse 17. And this is a, I don't know when they started using the scripture, but the, ISU, the IUIC uses the scripture to back up that hell doctrine. It says, humble thyself greatly for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms. So what precepts have come to mind? Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66, verse uh, uh, 24. And Yahweh Shai quoted it three times. The place where the worm died of night and the fire is not quenched. He was talking about Babylon the Great. Ungodly. The vengeance for the ungodly. Who are the ungodly? The ungodly are, the, are these Edomites. But Jake is going to suffer the fire too. It says, humble thyself greatly for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms. See, that's talking about hell. You're going to burn in hell forever. The only thing that's, that's going to be alive in hell is the worms. Show you that these guys don't understand the scriptures. And the ones of you that can't, you, you, you see, you hear what I'm saying. You window shop. You hear what I'm saying. And then you go right back to the, I, the IUIC. And one of the things that we commanded to do is rebuke, reprove and rebuke. None of these camps do that. They don't rebuke. If anything, they'll praise IUIC. They'll see them marching down the street and they'll praise them. Why would you praise them if they te if they leading leading you the wrong leading you down the wrong path? Okay, so let's pull out some of these precepts. Okay, Exodus 22, verse 18. And, and Babylon the Great is a woman in scarlet, colored, precious, uh, you know, jewelry, and so forth. Even John got a little emotional and, and a little turned on because he actually saw a woman. She probably had some, she had a thick, thick ass thighs, big calves, big bosom, you know, big hips, beautiful in the face. And the angel had to rebuke the apostle John. He said, look, look, man, you know, a revelation uh, 21 and 8. But as for the cowardly, this is in the ESV, as for the cowardly, the faith, the faithless, the des uh detestable as for murderers jake is murderers they killing jake killing jake every day so what you think the most i gonna do he gonna beam up none of these niggas the sexually immoral which is adultery sorcerers which which is witchcraft idolaters and all liars their portion will be in the lake that burn with fire and sulfur which is the second death. It's talking about Babylon the Great on fire after, after, after being hit by the missiles. Give you a couple more. 
But you, I got about a hundred scriptures right here. Leviticus 19 and 31. Do not turn to mediums or necromancers. That means somebody that com, you know, com, converts with the dead. You know, you want to get some information from your dead mother. And a lot of these black women, they go to these these uh, places, the tarot card readers, but they sneak up in there. I see it going on. It says, do not seek, do not seek them out, and so make yourself unclean by them. I am your Lord Yahweh. Leviticus uh, 20, verse 27, a man or a woman who is a medium or a necromancer shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned with stones. Their, their blood shall be upon them. So America is not applying these laws. And like I'm like I said, I'm not gonna read all these precepts. And bottom line, the reason why this place is gonna be destroyed, utterly destroyed, is because this place in the form of a woman and the in the vision that John saw is a, a witch. Let me do this right here. I'm gonna give you one or two more precepts and I'm gonna close it. Was it Nay? Nahum three. This is talking about Nineveh, but it's really talking about this place, Babylon the Great. Give me a second. Okay, so this right here, the third verse, Nahum 3, is talking about the missiles. It said, the horseman uh, lifteth up both the bright sword, which is the, the, represent the missiles, and the glittering spear. So Nahum saw a spear, a, a missile, but he said it, it was a spear. Job 20, 20 says what? The bow of steel. Um... And there, there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses. That's that's you. That's uh, Babylon the Great, and there was none end of their corpses. They stumbled upon their corpses, because of the, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, which is mentioned in Revelation chapter seventeen, the mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. See that that alphabet stuff is really witchcraft. You that's why if you see two people engaged in that alphabet stuff according to the the law of the most high, you put them to death to this on the spot. You don't bring them to no court. You put them to death right there. You see two men, you put them to death right there. They do that in certain parts of Africa. 
they, they, they know a guy is a mo, they'll catch him out there in the street and they'll stone him to death and then put a tie around him and burn him, burn him up. He'll be fighting, but after a while he's going to get tired. And there was a YouTube video that they took down that they actually showed this one guy, he was a, he was a alphabet person, and the people knew about it and they stoned him to death. He was fighting, but he got tired and he couldn't fight no more. And then they, then they put a, like I said, they put a tie around his head, set that shit on fire. And there was a police car that passed by, slowed down, and kept going. And so that's a faggot. You see? It says the well-favored harlot. That's why, that's why um, John looked at th that woman with great admiration. It means great love. He was lusting after the woman. As Malak would say, he, he, he was he was lushing. It says the mistress of witchcraft. So immediately, that Selif nations, that's uh, Revelation 17, uh, fornic fornication, meaning she's pushing that that stuff. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the chip, although the chip is part of their witchcraft as well. What's that technology they got from the Most High? But that that alphabet stuff, you're you're appeasing the left the the God on the left hand side. Baphomet is a half half man half woman a man with with women's titties. That Salaf nations do her whoredoms. That's why you had Kamala Harris go over to Africa with a checkbook, talking about you got to pass laws to protect these people. And it was uh, Uganda, and I believe Ghana. They said, nah, we ain't with that shit. And families do her witchcraft, because that's a part of her witchcraft. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.